everybody, it's Emily Noel here, a guest on the Revolution Beauty YouTube channel. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to get to talk directly to all of the real revaholics out there. And I want to introduce you guys to a couple of amazing things today. They're my palettes. I have both the needs and the wants. There's a story behind both of them. I'm going to tell you all about it today. Um, you'll see a little demo, particularly using the needs palette. It's so strange to get on here and just be like, here are my palettes. This is a crazy thing to be like verbalizing this to anyone that I have been working on this and this is what I've done. I mean, it's taken months and months. Uh, the whole project was born late last fall. I knew it was the right thing for me to do when um, in talking to Adam, the owner of the brand, I learned that this wasn't going to be a situation where anybody was trying to make me do any specific thing. Adam and his team liked me for who I am, um, even though I've done just extremely honest reviews on all sorts of things from Makeup Revolution on my channel. As with any brand, some things you love, some things you don't love as much, and they still respected all of my opinions and wanted me to put forth whatever I could come up with for their line. There was utmost creative freedom with this. Basically, the message to me was, where can your mind take you? Where can your creativity take you? That's what we want. And so this was what I came up with, and I'm so excited to introduce you to what we have here. First off, let's talk about the beautiful outer packaging. One is pink, one is kind of this peachy beige. It's got rose gold text on it. That is my signature. I literally wrote it out once because I, I wanted it to be how my name actually is. I didn't want to try to change my signature like this is what I write. And so that's my name. It's called the Emily Edit. And I think of that phrase as one who is going through and, and digging out the best. In terms of my life, I've spent six years in broadcasting as a TV news anchor and reporter. And so much of what we would do with news stories is edit, edit, edit everything down to just what was necessary. And that is really the soul of these palettes is I didn't want any as I call them BS colors. Just, you know, colors that are in there. We don't really know why. They didn't really have a purpose. Like repeat shades. One looks a lot like this other shade. Um, why was that necessary? I wanted every color to have an identity and I wanted everything that was edited into these palettes, so to speak, to have a real purpose for you. And so that's why it was called the Emily Edit. And then the needs and the wants. I remember the day that that concept kind of popped into my head. And honestly, it's kind of laughing at the fact that there, there's so many palettes out there these days. Who really needs another makeup palette. Well, I tried really hard to legitimately create a palette full of must-haves here. So the needs is kind of like a greatest hits of the brand. I have not seen Makeup Revolution do anything like this before, and I thought it was really something that was called for from this line. They've created so many great palettes. Let's make a greatest hits of them all. And so that's what this is in full face style. Another reason why I felt really valid in calling this the needs was because I don't think there's a great full face palette at an affordable price point out there right now. So this is it. And I've got shades that are my favorites from the Ultra Contour palette that I've reviewed and talked about. The blush palette in Hot Spice, one of my favorite blushes from there. We've got an amazing highlight here from the blush palette Goddess. I've got a couple of colors from the Neutrals versus Neutrals palette, which has always really appealed to me. And also some amazing mattes that are coming from the Light and Shade palette. I think even an improved formula because these seem to be less dry. They have a great ability to adhere to the eye and last really well, and they just anchor any look that you want to do. Now, I did get to rename all of these um, meaningful names, names that really resonated with me, and so I thought, what are the needs? What are the needs in life? So I named them things like courage, kindness, joy, gratitude, honesty, passion, peace, faith, hope, and love. I wanted people to kind of get a vibe when they opened up this palette, and I wanted them to think, Oh, these are good feelings, you know. If I may step off the beaten path for a second here, I do think gratitude is something we have to practice every day. I keep a daily gratitude journal where I put three points in it every day. They might be big things, they might be really little things, and we need to put that into practice every day because that's really the root of happiness and that's recognizing how much we have to be grateful for, and I feel like everybody has something to be grateful for. So, for example, having gratitude in there is that kind of reminder. I hope people don't just open it up and glaze over, but maybe actually 
actually think a little bit about how can I be courageous today? Who can I show kindness to? What can I be feeling gratitude for in this moment? So there was a reason for the naming of all of this. I'll take you through um, just some ideas on how to use this stuff. I hope you'll see this as the true multitasker that it is in that the things that are these kind of oblong ovals can be eye products if you want them to be. But Courage I see as kind of this little translucent everything type powder. It could be an eyeshadow for you also, but I really have been so satisfied using that as an under eye setting powder. So if you just like to take away a little bit of that tacky texture from a concealer, this is a great way to do it. Kindness, this is the perfect shade to be a bronzer contour hybrid for me. When I use it lightly, just dusting it across the skin, I get that nice bronzy effect, but I feel like I can concentrate it a bit more, like just right there on the hollow of the cheek or around the hairline, and it really perks up the complexion that way too and sculpts the face a bit more. Both of those shades are fully matte. Then we've got Joy down here, and there was no better name for that than Joy. I feel like this color is truly the application of Joy to your cheeks. When you put it on, it makes you smile. It makes you happy. It's a perfect corally blush shade. Long time ago, my mom always told me, nobody can go wrong with a peachy pink blush. And so that's what I've got in here. And by the way, all of these shades were tested on my 70-year-old mother as well as myself. Particularly this highlight called Gratitude. I wanted it to be everyone's highlight, which is tough because, you know, you can go on this end of the spectrum with a highlight that's just shouting from the rooftops. You can go over here and think, well, am I even really seeing that on my cheeks? I wanted something buildable that could reach all levels for everyone. What was really important to me about this shade was that it contained no glittery, sparkly filler. I wanted no appearance of actual glitter on the cheeks. I just wanted sheen. I wanted practically the look of dew without the texture of dewiness. And so that's what that color is to me. Now going through an eye look, I always like to prime my lids first. And I just wanted to walk the walk here for a second. It really can multitask. I like using kindness actually as a shade to start things out in the crease and just get a little bit of depth going there. And then you can add a little more richness with like faith or hope. If you're into a really warm eye look, faith is gorgeous to build up in the outer corner. Peace gives us a hint of peach. I like grazing over what I've done in the crease with that. And then love is a fantastic matte cream highlight. And then I've got a couple of statement colors here, like I said, from neutrals versus neutrals. One of them being honesty, and it's a really nice full colored peach with a satiny finish. And that's fun to pop on the lid if you want to add a little color to your look from this palette. And then I've got a nice rich deep matte brown called Hope, and that works great in your outer corner. Pack it in, um, work it up into your crease. And then I love having the option of having passion in here. This is like the additional step that this palette takes that so many multitasking palettes don't take. They don't give you that option to take it really dark and smoky if you want to. I'm going to take it slightly dark and smoky here by just deepening up my outer corner with a little bit of that shade. I like to smudge a little bit of hope as well just on my lower lash line to give a little bit of natural definition. But the real beauty of this palette is for as small as it is, it offers a lot of variety. It has so many levels within it, right? To do the most natural, basic, just giving yourself the look of natural contoured shadows, you know, on your eyes. You can do that or you can turn it into a nighttime look. It's got its own mirror so this can live in someone's purse or travel bag very easily along with a few brushes. For it to be your whole look, here's what else you would need. A foundation, maybe a concealer, a mascara, an eyeliner, and then use this as well and you've got everything. So that is the needs. I tried to really create something that I thought was worthy of being called the needs, the must-haves. I need a sip of coffee here. Now let's talk about the wants. The wants is kind of huge. Like, this is a big 24 color eye palette. Not 24 little dime size shadows, but 24 legitimately like they're here to party size shadows. Oh my gosh. If you guys could only see the um, dry erase board that I had going when I was planning this palette and deciding not only what shade should be in here, but why different shades should go in different places. I wanted this to be a palette that could inspire, but could also allow you to stay in your comfort zone if you want to. Who am I to say what your comfort zone should be? But I wanted a great balance of neutrals with some fun pops. I wanted the perfect balance of light, medium, and then really rich dark shades that will still show up as the colors I want them to be. One of the main points I can tell you about this palette is that colors like Family and Pi Fi and Corduroy and even Cheer down here, these rich shades don't just show up dark and murky on the eyes. They also won't overwhelm you and control you as you try 
try to put them on. I didn't want this to be a palette that would just, somebody uses it once, thinks, gosh, these shades are so overwhelming and out of control. I think it'll just sit back here on my shelf or in my drawer. No, I wanted this to be the thing that sits right here beside you that you're eager and excited to use every day. So I want colors that are easy to put on. Can you tell I've had a few rough experiences with palettes sometimes? I wanted these dark shades to show up as the colors I chose them to be, okay? Not so immediately overwhelmingly dark that that corduroy color, that beautiful rich green. I want the green to show. I want it to be buildable somewhat. So you can see the green, you can reach that level of intensity that you want. I mean, I've gotten some palettes and I've learned so much in 10 or so years on YouTube and much more time spent beyond that just as a makeup user. I've learned that there are things that can swatch beautifully. This palette happens to swatch beautifully, but we shouldn't get excited about things simply because they look pretty on our arm. We should get excited when we see them apply in a beautiful, easy, approachable way that everyone feels like they can make looks out of. And I have plenty of beautiful shimmery palettes in my collection, and there have been a lot of times where I felt like, gosh, if only the brand would have thrown in a few more rich dark colors, because that pairing and that overlap is what makes those light colors sing, you know, and really look their best. And so that's what I wanted to create here, were all the options a person could need, all the deep options, some fun light options that can take your look and surprise surprising directions. And I feel like this is the greatest testament I can give to this palette is that I have used this so much and I have used this before it ever became a palette when I was just putting shades together and really trying to test looks. I have done so many different things, but I still haven't done everything that this palette is capable of. There's still more. Like I'm uncovering more and more every time I get an opportunity to crack this open and do a look with it. I'm like, I can do something different than I've ever done. So I want that feeling of countless looks and endless creativity to resonate with you as well. And I really think you're going to love this palette so much. But you might wonder why these particular shades? Like why the light green. Why olives over here, the reds, the pinks? Well, one thing that I've really thought about in choosing shades for this palette was um, different discontinued palettes that nobody can get their hands on anymore that I personally love so deeply that I will not even throw them away at this point in my life. Like, and I wanted to bring that into this palette, so I took inspiration from those things. I took inspiration from just general shades that I like to use that I thought would be essential in any palette I would create, and then from there it was sort of like just connecting the dots. What sort of um, mid-tone shades, maybe not so much statement shades, but what little hard-working shades can we stuff in here that will create the full look? And guys, I didn't just put together what looked like a pretty palette. I really tested looks after looks after looks, and sometimes I thought, no, we got to make a change here. You know, it needs to shift around. So there was months of that. I'm very thankful that the Revolution team provided me that amount of time to really know that what was in here was great. And the day I knew it was all the right shades. I was so like utterly joyful. I'm sorry guys, I can't compare it to a baby being born, but it was like, I, I don't know, it was the birth of a really fantastic idea I felt. And the names that are in here are so meaningful for me. Um, there are a lot of things that are very personal to me. For example, this color called the cream. That shade takes me back to my junior high days when I would come home from school and I would honestly cry to my mom about being bullied by this girl or that girl. Feeling really low, feeling like I didn't have friends and like I was being mistreated, you know? And she always had this phrase that she would say, and that phrase is, the cream comes to the top. They'll grow up eventually, and you just keep being you. Don't stoop to that level, and the cream will come to the top. You know, your goodness will rise. I come from the Midwest. Maybe that's an old farming phrase some of you all are familiar with, but um, that's why that's at the top. Also, should I say, right below it is a shade called Midwest, because there are enough eyeshadows named after New York and LA, okay? I'm not bitter. I'm just giving the Midwest its chance, all right? Oh, good vibes. I love this color, this really rich coppery shade, and a good vibe I think is so important. It's kind of a trendy phrase these days, but I really think of it as when you enter a room, you give off what can only be described as a vibe, I guess, that people take in before you even open your mouth. And I feel like we should all strive to be that person who brings positive energy and an upbeat feeling. And like, yes, I want to bond with that person. I want to talk with that person. So that's what good vibes means to me. I've got these gorgeous colors here, Eve Rose and Belle Violet. Eve Rose is actually a really soft gold with just a hint of a pinky twist to it. It's a really interesting shade. Belle Violet is just this perfect soft lilac shade. But those are my girls. I had to take the opportunity to name something after them. Capricorn, that's my sign. I do feel I embody a lot of Capricorn um, 
characteristics and traits. Pi Phi, Pi Beta Phi is the sorority I was in in college. That was one of the signature shades of the sorority. So hello to any Pi Phi's Pi Phi love. Oh heavens, this was also named after my mom because that's like her exclamation at everything. Like when I first popped open this palette and showed it to her, I think one of the first things out of her mouth was probably, oh heavens. Love Tons is my shade dedicated to Tyler. That is the last thing I say to him before he leaves the house in the morning. Last thing I say before we fall asleep at night. Our kids say that too. I think it's so sweet. Pizzazz is just one of my favorite words in the English language. Gosh, is it, I feel like I'm taking up too much time talking about each and every shade, but family is really an important color. It's one of the most important shades in the whole palette. It is a true deep plum that shows up as deep plum, not as black, but as plum. Um, and it layers up so cool with like the light purple or in looks with the gold or in some of your looks where you work in more pinks and rosy shades. Definitely don't hesitate to bring in the plum because it always does something cool for the look. Um, top story is kind of a throwback to my news days. Apartment, um, if you were with me when my channel first started, those brown closet doors behind me or the wood paneling in the living room there, that's the apartment. Uh, dark and early is when I shoot a lot of my videos. Got a shade dedicated to my cat. Laugh Cry is a shade dedicated to my sister because that's the state we find ourselves in. Most times that we're together, we're laughing until we cry. So we've just made that a one word term now, Laugh Cry. Corduroy is the color down here of the little bear's overalls and the corduroy book. That's such a sweet children's book, but it's a pretty good adult book too. I could go on and on. I probably could have expanded longer on some of these shades, but you get the drill. It's a collection of favorite shades. It can't really be pinned down to any one look. You know, it's got warm, it's got cool, it's got rosy, it's got matte shimmer. Um, so many opportunities to layer and have fun. I know I, on my YouTube channel and elsewhere on Revolution social media, I will be seen creating a variety of eye looks with this because I want you to have so much inspiration, but I really think you're gonna find it for yourself as well, just cracking it open. just wanna say thank you so much, everyone, for uh, listening to me go on and on about these palettes. As you can tell, I feel so passionately about them. I could cry, honestly, as I sit here talking about them. Um, this is a really just, it's a crazy moment that I'm finally getting to talk about this because so much of it has been this quiet project that's taken place here in this room by this girl who does not live in New York or LA but is just right here in the heart of the Midwest. And I don't think I ever truly expected to have this kind of opportunity. I've been on YouTube over 10 years. I've never created anything. I've never ever done a sponsored video. And this felt like a way I could really put myself into something that we could all truly share in, you know, that people could get their hands on these without having to spend an arm and a leg. And I prayed on this opportunity a lot. I thought so much about whether this was the right thing to do in my life. And I just felt overwhelmingly drawn to take part in this project because there was so much authenticity behind it. There wasn't a bunch of people behind the scenes tapping me on the shoulder saying, hey, we think you should go this direction or we think it should be this way or blah, blah, blah. There were no voices. It was just me in this room literally creating and designing palettes. Like, what is this life? But it's amazing. I sincerely hope that you love what you try from my palettes, and I would love to hear your feedback. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye, everyone.